My name is Susanna Mills and I am the Editor-in-Chief of The American Philatelist. So August is all about showbiz and that word here has two meanings. So first of all, it is about the 2022 annual Great American Stamp Show, which is coming to Sacramento. Showbiz here means actual show business. Uh, we'll tell you all about what you can expect to find at the show, give you a list of dealers, and uh, generally give you a guide to what you'll find when you come to Sacramento. And then of course the other meaning of the word, showbiz, brings us to Hollywood, brings us to the entertainment industry, the golden age of film. Uh, it's an issue all about, uh, all about the stars and those parts of the hobby that are really fun and exciting. A lot of people have this picture in their head when they think of stamp collecting and philately. And that picture is a person sitting alone in their study, looking at stamps and looking at their collection. Uh, but what that doesn't capture is the very large social aspect that our hobby involves. But the show is all about that social aspect. It's all about meeting hundreds of people who um, have various interests and might share your interests. It's about uh, seeing the best that the hobby has to offer. In the same way, this issue of the American Philatelist moves away from more of the more of the serious academic studies and talks more about those fun parts of the hobby that we all enjoy. For example, one article is about uh, Disney personalized stamps. Uh, actually, Disney is a really big collecting area for a lot of folks who decided to collect it because they have a really personal uh, connection to Disney. They love Disney movies uh, and TV shows, and so they want to see the things that they love in their collection. So this issue is a celebration of all things social and entertainment, just like the show is a celebration of that same thing. we tried something totally new. We got rid of our usual header. We scrapped everything familiar off the cover and remade it all to look like a classic Hollywood film poster. Essentially, we did a lot of research. We went through and uh, we searched online and found a lot of these classic posters, like Casablanca, um, John Wayne, Wild West kind of posters. Um, so we went through and we found elements and drew on those elements to build our own poster, looking at exciting fonts, um, things that really jump off the page. Um, the end result I am so pleased with and I want to make, I want to make posters, I want to print posters. articles was by George Pfeffer. It is all about the 1993 Elvis stamp that gripped the nation. So this stamp actually came about because of a public vote in 1992 where the public was given two different options between a young Elvis and the older Las Vegas Elvis and were asked to vote and many people did. Uh, emphatically. Some people voted 18 times <laughs> all for the same one and some people said that they voted for both. <laughs> Why not? Um, and of course the younger Elvis ended up winning and the stamp when it was released in 1993 became the most collected stamp in the US um, and is pretty easily the most popular stamp in the US. What I really enjoyed about this one, other than like all the fun elements of Elvis, is the author did a lot of research uh, with contemporaneous newspaper accounts. There were a lot of 
everyday people talking about what they liked about the stamps within the article. Uh, he also reported about the um, about the 1992 presidential election and how uh, George Bush and Bill Clinton kind of used this Elvis stamp as a as a way to take pot shots at each other, which I thought was pretty funny. And of course, that ended with um, there's a famous clip of Bill Clinton. Uh, playing Heartbreak Hotel on the saxophone on TV. Um, uh, people my age will not remember it, but will have seen like the video, the classic video of Bill Clinton playing the saxophone. It's very funny. I would like to thank everyone who participated in the APS uh, reader survey. Uh, this ran from May through June and closed on June 30th and right now we are tabulating all of the results and look forward to sharing those results with you and using that information to figure out where we're going to go with the magazine, uh, what you enjoy and what you don't, and determine how we can make the AP as good as it can be. Later this August, I will be heading, like a lot of you, off to Sacramento, and I really look forward to seeing you there. I will be at the APS booth, and if I'm not there, I'll be walking around the show floor, talking to, uh, talking to dealers, talking to writers who I already know, and hopefully some writers who I have yet to meet. Uh, and so if you are there, Take a look out for me and I look forward to talking to you.